Good day and welcome back everyone. In today's video I'll be testing and showing off some stuff on this Sony cassette quarter. Uh, yes, it is called a cassette quarter, not a cassette recorder. Just a funny name I guess I gave to it. It's a model TCM454VK. We're going to bring it over to the bench. We're going to test it, see if it works right. And then if it doesn't, well, hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, see what it might need from there. And here's what we're looking at today. So this device is a Sony cassette quarter. It's a model TCM454VK. It's a regular standard mini cassette or recorder here. Has a built-in speaker, has built-in microphones, voice activated, has all the normal shuttle controls on it. it. Also has a fast and slow switch on the side. Microphone and earphone slots, and this is the voice activated recording button. Power cord right there. Takes two double A's, I already have them in there. And I got this recently at a yard sale a couple weeks ago. Uh, this cost a dollar. And we're gonna see how it works. Actually, it may have been less, maybe this was 50 cents. I don't recall exactly. So I got a cassette in here, older cassette, but it looks like it's a, since it's a high bias type two cassette, We'll see how it works. I'm not super up on the cassette types, but hopefully it plays. Uh, as a control, I do have my Radio Shack larger recorder with the larger speaker on it, the counter, all that stuff. This unit works perfectly fine, so we'll use it as a test. Maybe we'll record something on this, play it back, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll start this guy off right away. Rewind the tape just a hair. And we'll record. No counter on this one, so kind of have to guess where we're where we're going. All right, so we are recording now. I'll bring it slightly closer to me. I can see the red light on. Just record a couple words into it. See how it sounds. See how it plays back. And hopefully, it sounds decent and doesn't need any kind of repair. All right, we'll rewind that just a little. And we'll play. Volumes up. Not here in Anthem yet. There it goes. Okay, so that sounded weird. Now, right at the end there, when I was playing that back, I had adjusted the speed a little higher, just to kind of give me an indicator of what's going on here. So let's rewind that again, just a little. And we'll play it in full, in high speed. Even though we did record it in normal speed, we're gonna play it back in high speed, just to see what that sounds like one more time, because that sounded kind of like a alien or something. What I recorded. Oh. Here we go. This is it. All right. There is definitely something wrong with that. So let's do this. Just in case it's the player. Let's put this to the side. We'll get our, our control. We'll get our Radio Shack player here. We'll play back the same tape in here just to see what this sounds like. That sounded weird still. All right, so same tape we're gonna play and record on this recorder just to see. So now I'm playing back on the Radio Shack recorder. It's a voice activated recorder. It's a model CTR101. This one does have a counter on it, which will make it easier for me to play stuff back. And here we go. So now I'm playing back on the Radio Shack recorder. It's a voice activated recorder. It's a model CTR101. This one does have a counter on it, which will make it easier for me to play stuff back. 
And for one more test, I'm going to play back that good recording. I'm going to play it back on the Sony. I'm going to put this back to normal speed. In case I didn't show it earlier, the speed switch is right here. It goes from fast to slow and kind of has a bump in the middle where it stops. Here we go. That sounds super freaky. Let's put the speed up. Oh, see that? Okay, so I think, judging from that, I think we have our verdict. That verdict is, this recorder, this Sony, this tape works fine, so I rolled the tape out. This Sony recorder, I think, has something going on with the speed. And I'm going to guess, just by stuff I've researched before, that the belt that spins the play motor is probably loose or not working. So that's going to be a, a fun repair. Normally, I wouldn't get into that kind of repair. I've never taken apart a cassette recorder like this, or at least not for a very long time, to even try to repair it. But seeing I paid so little for this, I think I will try to fix this. And what we'll do is, uh, if I do decide to do that, at least taking it apart, I'll try to make that into maybe another video, or maybe some highlights of it, just to see how that will test out, as I've never... I don't know how successful I'm going to be with that. I'm very curious to try and to see how that goes. But if it just needs a belt, maybe we can get a good working record out. Uh, maybe we can get a good working cassette recorder out of this that works as good as the Radio Shack model does, and we'll go from there. So as always, guys, I do appreciate the watch. If it's the first time here, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.